Well, it's a busy summer for athletes hoping to get to Paris. More than 400 will spend the next few weeks trying to qualify for the Games. This is no secret to all of you. And because it is, you all know that every athlete out there, at least those aspiring to actually compete in Paris, are scrambling to earn a spot on the team. U.S. gymnasts are no exception. Training hard, these gymnasts are excited for the Summer Olympics. Well, uh, this is the fun part. This is what all the training uh, has been working towards. So now that we're finally here, it's, it's, it's definitely exciting. Well, who wouldn't want to be an Olympian, right? It is for this reason that they are working hard towards the dream, as some would call it. It's getting closer, and, you know, I just go into the gym with the mindset of my goal. And Obviously, they, like others, are looking forward to competing. Likewise, fans are excited to witness brilliant performances in Paris. But I love to watch them and celebrate. The uh, emotions that this brings to your, to your soul to see these types of people in our country representing the United States, it's... One of the most popular sports at the 2024 Paris Olympics will be artistic gymnastics. This sport is made up of numerous individual competitions on different apparatus, as well as a team competition involving all apparatus. Men's events include the floor exercise, pommel horse, still rings, vault, parallel bars, and high bar, while the women's events include the vault, uneven bars, balance beam, and floor exercise. For those not aware of the fact, gymnastics has a long history in the Olympic program as the sport was introduced to its first games in 1896 and has been included in every iteration since. Women began competing at the Olympic level at the 1928 Amsterdam Games. Japan dominated the sport in the 1960s and 70s, but in the decades that followed, it was the US, Romania, Russia, and China that took center stage. On that note, making the U.S. gymnastics team for the Paris 2024 Games is harder than ever before, and the squad that is ultimately selected could be the most successful ever at the Olympics. Most of you probably know that February marked the first major competition of the 2024 U.S. elite gymnastics season, the Winter Cup Challenge held in Louisville, Kentucky, and the U.S. national team camp. Then, in early April, 32 women participated in the USA Gymnastics Women's National Team Camp set in Katy, Texas. The four-day event is a selection event for the Pacific Rim Championships, which will be held in Cali, Colombia and the city of Yasolo Trophy in Yasolo, Italy. The U.S. plans to send a senior team to Colombia and both a senior and junior team to Italy, according to a release from USA Gymnastics. Regardless of the rosters, the battle to make Team USA for the Paris Games could be even more intense than in past years. How so? Well, veterans, newcomers, and everything in between will be vying for one of the just five spots the U.S. can send to Paris in women's gymnastics. The Americans have the last three women to claim Olympic all-around gold attempting to make the team in Gabby Douglas, Simone Biles, and Sunisa Lee. There's also Tokyo 2020 Olympic floor champion Jade Carey and team silver medalist Jordan Childs. The squad also boasts the likes of two-time world all-around medalist Shalisi Jones and Sky Blakely and Leanne Wong, who both helped the United States continue its dominating streak at the World Championships in 2022 and 2023. Meanwhile, newcomer Jocelyn Robertson marked herself as one to watch last season, winning two titles at the Cairo World Cup, in addition to strong showings at the DTB Team Challenge and Pan American Championships. She made the USA World's team but had to withdraw from the competition after sustaining an injury during warm-ups for the team final. That's not all. Kayla DiCello, who served as the U.S. alternate to both the 2023 Worlds and Tokyo 2020 Games, made her impressive return to elite gymnastics last season to earn all-around gold at the Pan American Games in Santiago, Chile. After a record-setting NCAA career, Trinity Thomas is returning to elite competition for the 2024 season, recently announcing she intends to compete in the all-around at the Winter Cup in late February. Thomas has shared recent training videos on her social media, including an uneven bars routine that is sure to mark her as a contender. 2022 U.S. All-Around Champion Connor McLean hasn't competed in elite gymnastics since taking her national title two seasons ago. But while she competes in her freshman year campaign at Louisiana State University, McLean has said the Olympics remain her number one goal. Other women to keep an eye on include DiCello's gold-winning medal Pan Am Games teammates, Kalia Lincoln, Zoe Miller, and Tiana Sumansakera. 
All that said, it's easier to see why making the team for Paris would be more challenging than ever. This is definitely going to be one of the tougher teams to make, said 2008 Olympic silver medalist Alicia Sacramoni, who is now part of the U.S. team leadership and served as the squad's high-performance strategic lead last year. You obviously have veterans coming back. You have some younger seniors who are making a push to try and make a name for themselves. Natasha Lukin, a Russian-born American former artistic gymnast who also happens to be an Olympic gymnast, has one lesson she hopes Team USA will take to Paris for the 2024 Summer Games. Surprisingly, it has nothing to do with sports. Instead, she just wants them to try to be present and be in the moment because it goes by so quickly. In fact, Natasha, who, mind you, won a gold medal at the 2008 Beijing Olympics, remembers having a countdown to the last day of competition because she was so homesick at the time. But now, looking back at the experience, the 34-year-old wishes she took more time to cherish the momentous occasion. Talking about the Team USA hopefuls, Natasha said, They are really well trained. If anything, it's more so a mental challenge. Obviously, the Olympic Games have high qualification standards and the competition intensifies as the best athletes compete to book a berth in the prestigious quadrennial event. Just in case you didn't know already, the Paris Olympics are scheduled to take place from July 26th to August 11th, 2022. The Olympics are the center stage and often the most important event in an athlete's life, with heavy anticipation in the days leading up to it. Gymnastics will take place at the 2024 Paris Olympics between July 27th and August 5th. Twelve teams will compete in Paris for both the men and women. There are a total of 14 medal events across the men's and women's disciplines. Women's events include individual all-around, floor exercise, vault, balance beam, and uneven bars. Men's include individual all-around, floor exercise, vault, pommel horse, still rings, high bar, and parallel bars. The gymnastics competition will take place at Bercy Arena, which is a large sports hall that was once the number one concert venue in France that welcomed many international artists. During the 2024 Paris Olympics, the arena will host two major sports, gymnastics and basketball, and three disciplines one after another within a short period. In preparation for this, the competition to be part of the team competing there is fiercer than it has ever been. While the 2012 London Olympic team was called the Fierce Five and the 2016 Rio Olympic team was known as the Final Five, this year's team is expected to be the Dream Team. The squad brings to mind the gold medal winning Dream Team, the 1992 U.S. men's basketball team that included Michael Jordan, Charles Barkley, Magic Johnson, and Larry Bird. All-around Olympic champions Gabby Douglas, Simone Biles, and Sunisa Lee, who claimed the women's top individual prize in 2012, 2016, and 2021 respectively, and youngsters Jocelyn Robertson and Tiana sumana Sakara, are among those hoping for a place on the five-member team, which will be named at the U.S. Olympic team trials in Minneapolis in late June. This will be one of the best teams the United States has ever had and one of the best teams that the world has ever seen said Robertson. The United States could make three teams and they would all be amazing. The depth this year is insane and unlike any other. Well, she isn't wrong. And like everyone else, we're looking forward to it. Here's another athlete we're looking forward to seeing in Paris.